Welcome to ReneeEnergy.com on YouTube, the hub for all things renewable energy and sustainability. Our channel is dedicated to bringing you the latest innovations and insights in green energy, including cutting-edge developments like green hydrogen. Whether you're a sustainability veteran or just beginning your journey, we have something for everyone. Join us on this channel to explore inspiring projects for a sustainable tomorrow. We bring you the latest in renewable energy, sustainability, and cutting-edge technologies. And don't forget, for more in-depth information and resources, visit our website and subscribe to our newsletter for the latest updates and exclusive content. Hello, and welcome to RenewEnergy.com, your go-to platform for the latest in clean energy solutions and innovations. Today, we are excited to dive into one of the most crucial developments shaping the future of global energy, green hydrogen. In this video, we will explore the role of green hydrogen in the global energy transition, discuss the challenges and opportunities surrounding its adoption, and introduce you to our green hydrogen development and financing course, designed to equip you with the knowledge needed to navigate this evolving sector. Let's jump right in. In 2024, green hydrogen is rapidly emerging as a key solution in the global transition to clean energy. The demand for green hydrogen stems from its potential to decarbonize various industries, particularly those difficult to electrify, such as steel production, chemicals, and long-haul transportation. However, scaling green hydrogen production and establishing a feasible supply chain comes with technical, economic, and policy-related challenges that must be addressed. The core of green hydrogen production lies in electrolysis, a process that splits water into hydrogen and oxygen using electricity. When powered by renewable energy, this process produces hydrogen without emitting any carbon dioxide, making it a promising alternative to traditional hydrogen production methods, which rely on natural gas. Electrolysis technology, particularly alkaline water electrolysis AWE, has been in use for decades and has recently seen renewed attention due to its compatibility with renewable energy sources like solar and wind. All is efficient, reliable, and cost-effective, especially for large-scale projects and is positioned to play a central role in the green hydrogen economy. One of the main advantages of AWE is its ability to handle the variability of renewable energy inputs, a critical feature given that wind and solar power generation fluctuate based on weather conditions. This adaptability, combined with its long-established use in the chemical industry, has made AWE the most developed electrolysis method to date. Other technologies, like solid oxide electrolysis cells, SOEC, are also gaining traction due to their high efficiency in specific applications, particularly in industries with available waste heat. While SOEC offers greater efficiency under the right conditions, its dependence on high temperatures makes it less versatile than AWE. Nevertheless, both technologies represent the evolving landscape of electrolysis innovation that is vital for the future of green hydrogen. Despite these technological advancements, the economic feasibility of green hydrogen remains a significant challenge. Producing hydrogen at a cost competitive with fossil fuel-derived hydrogen, known as gray hydrogen, is still a hurdle. Green hydrogen is currently more expensive due to the high cost of electrolyzers and the need for a consistent supply of renewable electricity. However, ongoing innovations and scaling efforts are expected to reduce these costs over time. For instance, the transition from small-scale to mass manufacturing of electrolyzers is essential for driving down production costs. Industries with experience in electrolysis, such as the chemical sector, are well positioned to lead this transition. Companies like Tizenkrupp Nucera, which has extensive experience in using electrolyzers for chlorine production, are now applying their expertise to green hydrogen, accelerating the industry's learning curve and cost reductions. Global policy efforts are also playing a crucial role in advancing green hydrogen. The United States, for example, has introduced several measures to promote clean hydrogen production, most notably through the Inflation Reduction Act IRA. The IRA provides substantial financial incentives for clean hydrogen projects, including tax credits and grants for renewable energy sources that power hydrogen production. In 2023, the U.S. government allocated $7 billion to establish the country's first clean hydrogen hubs, a critical step toward building the necessary infrastructure for hydrogen production, storage, and distribution. Additionally, the U.S. Department of Energy has further bolstered green hydrogen initiatives by providing funding for projects aimed at reducing production costs and improving the overall viability of the hydrogen supply chain. Europe has also made significant strides, with initiatives like the H2 Global Scheme and the European Hydrogen Bank. These programs are designed to support green hydrogen projects and ensure that the EU remains competitive in the global market.
While Europe has been a leader in renewable energy development, it faces stiff competition from countries like China, which has ramped up its production capacity for electrolyzers and is investing heavily in hydrogen infrastructure. China's ability to produce electrolyzers at a lower cost, combined with its ambitious plans for a vast hydrogen pipeline network, puts it in a strong position to dominate the global green hydrogen market. Despite these encouraging developments, several challenges remain. One of the most significant barriers to the widespread adoption of green hydrogen is storage and transportation. Hydrogen has a low energy density, meaning it takes up much more space than conventional fuels like natural gas. To store hydrogen in a practical and economically feasible way, it must be compressed to very high pressures or liquefied at extremely low temperatures, both of which require energy and increase costs. Developing more efficient storage and transportation solutions is essential for green hydrogen to become a viable energy carrier on a global scale. Another challenge is the coordination of supply, demand, and infrastructure development. Currently, there is a classic chicken and egg scenario, where hydrogen producers are hesitant to invest in large-scale production without assurance that there will be sufficient demand, while potential users of green hydrogen are reluctant to commit without a reliable supply. This uncertainty extends to infrastructure as well. The necessary pipelines, storage facilities, and refueling stations for hydrogen use are still in the early stages of development, and their slow rollout further complicates the establishment of a robust hydrogen economy. To address these challenges, policymakers and industry leaders must take coordinated action. Governments need to provide clear and consistent policy support to reduce investment risks and encourage early adoption of green hydrogen. This support could take the form of subsidies, tax incentives, and regulatory frameworks that prioritize hydrogen in national energy strategies. Moreover, public and private sector collaboration is essential to scale up production and infrastructure simultaneously, ensuring that supply and demand can grow in tandem. The global green hydrogen market is also seeing rapid development in regions with abundant renewable energy resources. Countries in the Middle East, Africa, and Australia are well positioned to become major players in green hydrogen production due to their vast solar and wind resources. Large-scale hydrogen projects in these regions are already underway, with some aiming to export green hydrogen to Europe and Asia, where demand is expected to surge in the coming years. These projects are helping to lay the groundwork for a global hydrogen supply chain that could eventually rival the existing fossil fuel-based energy system. As we look ahead, the feasibility of green hydrogen hinges on several key factors. First, continued innovation in electrolysis technology is critical to reducing production costs and improving efficiency. Second, global policy frameworks must evolve to support the large-scale deployment of hydrogen infrastructure and create stable markets for green hydrogen. Finally, overcoming the technical challenges of hydrogen storage and transportation will be essential for unlocking its potential as a global energy carrier. While the path to a green hydrogen future is still fraught with challenges, the progress made in 2024 suggests that it is a question of when, not if, hydrogen will become a cornerstone of the clean energy transition. Adding to this evolving picture, a recent Harvard study published in 2024 challenges some of the optimistic forecasts surrounding green hydrogen. The study highlights the often overlooked costs associated with the storage and distribution of hydrogen. These costs, which account for a significant portion of hydrogen's overall price, pose a substantial challenge to making green hydrogen cost competitive. While many projections suggest that production costs could fall, this study emphasizes that reductions in production alone are unlikely to make green hydrogen economically viable for widespread use. The study reveals that even if production costs decrease to as low as $2 per kilogram, storage and distribution costs will still drive up the overall price, making green hydrogen a less attractive option for many sectors. The research points out that these costs vary significantly depending on the end use, further complicating the economic outlook for green hydrogen across different industries. The Harvard researchers caution that, without substantial improvements in these areas, hydrogen may not be the Swiss army knife of decarbonization as it is often portrayed. While green hydrogen may remain a critical tool for decarbonizing hard-to-abate sectors, the study argues that it is premature to rely solely on this technology without also investing in alternative strategies. The researchers suggest that governments and industry should take a more diversified approach to decarbonization, exploring other technologies like advanced biofuels and electrification alongside green hydrogen. This more balanced strategy would help mitigate the risks of over-reliance on a single solution while accelerating the broader transition to a low-carbon economy. In conclusion, while green hydrogen holds immense potential, the findings from the Harvard study remind us that the road ahead is complex and requires careful consideration of both technical and economic factors. 
As we move forward, continued innovation, investment, and a diversified approach will be essential for making green hydrogen a feasible and integral part of the global energy transition. Now, if you're interested in diving deeper into green hydrogen and learning how to develop and finance these projects, RenEnergy.com is proud to offer an exclusive green hydrogen development and financing course. This course will guide you through the technical and financial aspects of green hydrogen projects, helping you understand how to overcome the challenges and seize the opportunities in this rapidly evolving sector. Stay tuned, and let's build a sustainable future together. Thanks for tuning into the ReneEnergy.com YouTube channel. We trust you found this episode enlightening and motivating. There's a world of innovation and opportunity in sustainable energy, and we're delighted to share this journey with you. Stay in the loop with the latest on renewable energy and sustainability by visiting our website and subscribing to our newsletter. Your support is immensely appreciated, it's truly invaluable to us. Don't miss our next video on new trends in renewable energy. Follow us on social media for the latest updates. Enjoy the video? Like, subscribe, and share for more green insights. Thanks for watching.